Did you know that a ship can be taller than a 10-story building and still float steadily on water? It's an engineering marvel that defies what most people think is possible. Welcome to the Maritime Safety Talk channel, where we explore the fascinating world of ships, these massive vessels that somehow stay afloat despite their enormous weight. Today we're diving into the science behind this incredible phenomenon, buoyancy. Many people wonder, how do these heavy ships not just sink? It seems counterintuitive, right? We'll explore why understanding buoyancy and stability is key to solving this puzzle. Let's dive deep into the fascinating science behind why ships float. It all starts with Archimedes' principle. This principle states that any object submerged in a fluid, like water, experiences an upward force called buoyancy that is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. Simply put, a ship floats because the water it pushes aside weighs as much as the ship itself. Now let's talk about hull design. The hull is the main body of the ship and its shape is crucial to the ship's ability to stay afloat. Most ships have a wide, curved hull that spreads out the ship's weight over a large area, allowing it to displace a lot of water. This design ensures that the ship remains buoyant, even when it's loaded with heavy cargo. But floating isn't just about buoyancy. Stability is equally important. This is where weight distribution comes into play. Ships are designed so that their center of gravity, where the ship's weight is balanced, is low, keeping the ship upright. Engineers meticulously plan where cargo is stored to ensure the ship doesn't tip over. They also use ballast tanks, which can be filled with water, to adjust the ship's balance and stability. Lastly, let's consider the role of the keel, a long structure running along the bottom of the ship. The keel acts like a counterbalance to prevent the ship from rolling too much side to side, especially in rough waters. This design feature, combined with the shape of the hull and careful weight distribution, keeps the ship stable and safe during its voyage. Now here's the big reveal, the moment where everything clicks into place. It's all about the shape of the ship and how weight is distributed. Imagine a ship as a giant seesaw. If the weight isn't balanced, it tips over. But when everything is perfectly balanced, the ship stays upright, even in challenging conditions. Let's visualize this with some real-world examples. Picture a massive container ship loaded with thousands of containers. Each container is carefully placed according to a specific plan to keep the ship balanced. The shape of the hull, which is broader at the bottom, also plays a huge role in preventing the ship from capsizing. This broad base ensures that even if the ship tilts, it will naturally right itself rather than roll over completely. For even more dramatic visuals, think about cruise ships. These floating cities are designed to remain stable, even with thousands of passengers and amenities on board. The hull's design, combined with sophisticated stabilizing systems and precise weight distribution, ensures that these ships can navigate through storms and rough seas without tipping. This is the moment where you can truly appreciate the brilliance of ship design. The combination of hydrodynamics, engineering precision and careful planning all come together to create vessels that are both powerful and safe, capable of withstanding the challenges of the open sea. So there you have it, buoyancy, stability, and the incredible engineering that keeps these giants of the sea upright. These concepts are what make modern shipping possible. What do you think about how ships stay afloat? Leave your thoughts in the comments, ask any questions you have, and don't forget to check out our next video on cutting-edge maritime technology.